The James Webb Space Telescope is intended to transform our understanding of the universe, with one of its primary goals being the clouds on Saturn's moon Titan. Titan is one of our solar system's most intriguing worlds. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and the Keck Observatory in Hawaii have caught Saturn's moon in infrared. Furthermore, scientists were able to observe and examine Titan's clouds in order to map the distribution of different gases in its atmosphere. So how did James Webb make these observations? Why is Titan's observation so critical? And what were we searching for in terms of answers? In this video, we'll go over all of that and more. Titan's thick atmosphere and methane-based hydrological cycle are well known, with liquid methane and ethane rain falling from the sky and filling lakes and rivers on the moon's surface. Titan is the only moon with a thick atmosphere in the solar system, as well as the only other planetary body having rivers, lakes, and seas. In contrast to Earth, the liquid on Titan's surface is composed of hydrocarbons such as methane and ethane rather than water. The haze in its atmosphere obscures the visible light reflected off the surface. For years, scientists hoped to use Webb's infrared vision to study Titan's atmosphere, particularly its distinctive weather cycles and gaseous composition, as well as see through the haze to evaluate albedo, bright and dark areas, on the surface. Titan's atmosphere is fascinating not only for its methane clouds and storms, but also for what it may teach us about Titan's history and future, including whether or not it has always had an atmosphere. After hours of data analysis, the preliminary findings were simply astounding, as they discovered not one, but two clouds. The revelation has far-reaching consequences for our knowledge of the moon's ability to support life. The observation was made with the telescope's near-infrared camera, which can see through Titan's thick atmosphere. The camera discovered glowing areas on the moon's surface compatible with exposed water ice. The presence of water ice on Titan's surface is significant since it indicates the possibility of liquid water underneath the surface. The presence of liquid water is required for life as we know it, and the discovery of water ice on Titan raises the potential that the moon could host microscopic life. The next step for scientists will be to investigate the water ice patches further and look for any evidence of potential lunar habitability. The James Webb Space Telescope launched in March 2021 with sophisticated sensors that will allow scientists to conduct even more thorough investigations of Titan and other worlds in our solar system. The discovery of water ice on Titan is the most recent in a long line of exciting discoveries made with the James Webb Space Telescope, and it has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the moon and its ability to support life. Titan is Saturn's biggest moon and the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere. This atmosphere contains primarily nitrogen, with a trace of methane and other trace gases. The existence of clouds is one of Titan's most notable atmospheric features. These clouds, which are composed of methane and other hydrocarbons, are thought to play an important influence in the moon's weather and climate. The James Webb Space Telescope will have unprecedented access to these clouds. With its enhanced infrared capabilities, it will be able to see through the dense haze that surrounds Titan and see the clouds. The telescope will be able to track cloud movement and measure attributes such as temperature, composition, and altitude. This will provide important insights into the systems that govern Titan's weather, as well as how they are affected by the moon's seasons and distance from the sun. But how did James Webb amass these datasets and make these observations? The James Webb Space Telescope has a set of advanced equipment that allow it to observe the solar system and beyond. The near-infrared camera, near-infrared spectrograph, and mid-infrared instrument are among these instruments. The principal imaging equipment on Webb is the near-infrared camera, which is used to collect high-resolution photos of objects in the solar system and beyond. This camera is very useful for analyzing objects in the infrared spectrum, as it can see through dust and gases that would otherwise conceal them in the visible range. 
The near-infrared spectrograph is used to investigate the composition of solar system objects by examining the light they produce or reflect. This gives web vital information about the chemical composition of these items, which aids in understanding their origins and evolution. The mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI, is used to examine the atmospheres of the solar system's planets and moons. It will be able to detect the heat radiated by these things and tell us about their temperatures and states. Overall, the James Webb Space Telescope equipment supply us with a wealth of new data about the solar system and beyond, and this advanced suite of instruments provides scientists with exciting observations of Titan. The telescope was able to track the movement of the clouds and measure their properties, such as temperature, composition, and altitude, providing valuable insights into the processes that drive Titan's weather and how they are affected by the moon's seasons and distance from the sun. Researchers immediately established that a brilliant light spotted in Titan's northern hemisphere was, in fact, a gigantic cloud by comparing many photographs collected by Webb's near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, after only a few hours of reviewing Titan data. Scientists soon uncovered a second cloud. The discovery of clouds is intriguing because it confirms long-held computer model assumptions about Titan's climate, which anticipated that clouds would form easily in the mid-northern hemisphere during late summer when the surface is warmed by the sun. The researchers believed it was crucial to assess whether the clouds were moving or changing shape because this could reveal information about the airflow in Titan's atmosphere. So they quickly contacted colleagues to arrange for follow-up observations that evening at Hawaii's Keck Observatory. The goal was to examine Titan from its stratosphere to its surface in order to capture Webb's clouds. The observations were beneficial. Scientists were apprehensive that when we returned to Titan with Keck two days later, the clouds would be gone, but to their amazement, the clouds were still there, albeit in altered shapes. However, this alignment does not necessarily suggest that Keck viewed the same clouds as JWST. Because Titan's northern hemisphere is in late summer and absorbing more solar energy, scientists projected that Keck's clouds would form recently. And the researchers aren't finished with the data yet. The clouds were identified in photographs taken by JWST's near-infrared sensor, a sophisticated camera capable of imaging an object in multiple distinct wavelengths of light, allowing scientists to separate Titan's lower atmosphere. However, the researchers have not yet finished analyzing all of the NIRCAM data, and a second device was also used. The observatory's near-infrared spectrograph was used to gather the spectra. This method separates light reflected off surfaces like Titan's atmosphere and determines how much of each wavelength is there. The spectra could aid scientists in determining what compounds exist in the lower atmosphere, which includes an abnormally brilliant area near the moon's south pole. According to the web team, JWST will return to Titan in May or June 2023, this time with its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which will improve scientists' understanding of the molecules in Titan's strange, hazy atmosphere. Titan observations are especially important now because there has been a lapse in spacecraft visits to the chilly moon. One of the primary focuses of the James Webb Space Telescope's Titan observations will be to look for traces of primordial chemistry. The study of the chemical events that could have contributed to the development of life on Earth is known as prebiotic chemistry. Titan's conditions are similar to those that existed on Earth before life evolved, thus the moon could be a suitable spot to look for prebiotic chemistry. The presence of complex organic molecules in the clouds will be detectable by the James Webb Space Telescope, which could be a hint of primordial chemistry and action. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to observe additional elements of Titan's surface and atmosphere in addition to examining the clouds. It will be able to detect the presence of liquid methane and ethane lakes and oceans, as well as examine the moon's geology and geochemistry in great detail. Other aspects of the moon's surface and atmosphere will also be visible through the James Webb Space Telescope.
It will be able to detect the presence of liquid methane and ethane lakes and oceans, as well as examine Titan's geology and geochemistry in great detail. So what do you make of James Webb's Titan observation? What key questions do you want James Webb to answer? Share your thoughts in the comments box below, and please share the video with your friends.